In early November of 2025, I built quantcrawler.com to help me with my confidence in day trading. I found when I was trading, I spent a lot of time just basically with analysis paralysis. I felt like I had a good read. I felt like the chart was exactly what I wanted it to see to enter my trade. But for some reason, I would hesitate. I would wait. I just didn't feel overly confident. So I decided I was going to build something to help take away a layer and take away the overthinking. And quantcrawler.com did that. It works for me but it works for thousands, yes, plural, thousands of other traders who have tried it out. And you get a 30-day trial. And then after that, it's $9.99 a month for everything I'm about to show you. I literally will let you try it completely risk-free, cancel anytime, and join our community on Discord of over 3,600 day traders every single day in the Discord actively communicating. So if you give me the opportunity over the next few minutes, I'd love to show you what Quant Crawler can do. I'd love to explain to you how it operates. And then I'd also like to show you how it can help you even just be a tool to help your analysis paralysis when it comes to trading. If you go to quantcrawler.com, this is what you're going to see right away. I'm only going to touch on this quickly because the point of this video is to talk to you guys about how Quant Crawler operates. But this banner at the top, Ghost Automated Trading. I am building out an automated trading platform that is going to automate everything that you're about to see in Quant Crawler. Ghost is the automation tool that will operate off of a webhook if you have a strategy and a trading platform you like with an indicator or wherever it can receive an alert, it will actually execute that trade on your behalf. Or you can go into Quant Crawler mode, which will automate all of this analysis that I'm about to show you with one click of a button. So you hit the landing page, you can scroll through here, you can start your free trial, or if you're already a member, you just log in. And then if you want to see more about it without even logging in, you can click right here to watch this video. This is me walking through how Quant Crawler works, and in the process, I ran an analysis that called a long on gold, and I didn't take the trade because I was just recording a tutorial, but I went and checked it at the end when I was editing the video, and Quant Crawler called a perfect $1,000 trade for a $1,000 profit on gold. So let's get into the charts and I'll show you how this works. When you first get into quantcrawler.com, this is what you're going to see. We have an AI analyzer for futures, Forex, options, and crypto. I'm going to walk you through each one of these and we're going to start with futures because this is the one that actually takes the most, I guess in air quotes, work if you will, but I have a semi-automation. These ones here have an option to where you just go in and enter in a ticker and it pulls live chart data automatically so you don't need to upload any screenshots so it can analyze and give you an expected position play. Click the futures button, you get in here and you have to accept this disclaimer. Once you do that, you see a chart that looks like this. We have our most popular tickers down here and then you can pick your time frame. Are you going to upload a 15, five and one minute chart? one hour and 30 minute for an intraday trade or a swing trade where you're holding longer. If you use prop firms holding longer than a day, swing trades are not going to work for you. If you're investing your own cash, swing trades are going to be perfect if you want to hold for a long time. In this video, we're going to run a scalp. So here's a quality of life thing you can do. In the Google Chrome extension store, you can download the Quant Crawler app. And this Quant Crawler extension essentially will automatically capture your screenshots and pull you straight into this section right here to start analyzing with a simple keystroke. So is what I'm going to do is I have the 15 minute, five minute and one minute charts set up by default up here. I'm gonna come over to my pricing and just double click so this snaps so I can fit as much data as I can. And I want mine to look like this. I wanna be able to fit as many candles on the screen as I can. And then I'm going to hit Control Shift and Q. You can see up here in the extension, it captured the 15 minute and it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little icon that says one out of three. At this point, I'm done on the 15 minute. I go to the five minute control shift and Q. It's now two out of three and the five minute is captured. The minute I hit control shift and Q right here, it captures the third one and pulls me straight into quant crawler. I accept the disclaimer and it immediately starts running the charts for an analysis and an output of what our framework builds from AI. AI is analyzing those charts sending the information back to our framework and calculations, and it kicks out something that looks like this right here. You can see we're looking at GC at gold. Price, 4628. It wants you to do a limit order. Wait for a pullback. I tell everybody when I do this, I don't like this field. The only reason that this is in here is because the community has requested that I don't remove it. I took it away, and I received a whole bunch of tech tickets about put this back in. I liked it, so it's back in. 
But when I see that there's an actual direction right here and Quant Crawler calls it, I take it. I don't wait for a pullback. I don't follow my own rules of what I built here, but I'm very transparent with that for everybody. I'm also a little bit riskier of a trader, I think. So it analyzes the current price, the confidence, it's telling me to go long, and then it says the overall trend is bullish and price is currently pulling back towards a key support level, offering a good risk reward entry opportunity. It then down here gives you three options, option one, option two, and option three. These basically default down to a $200 risk. And the reason that these default to this is because most of our users on Quant Crawler, I can see on the back end run all the M variations like MGC, MNQ, MES. Well, if I had this default to $1,000 on a single contract, the stop distance and the take profit on MGC is significantly different to where you're most likely never going to hit your take profit and you're most likely never going to hit your stop loss unless it's a catastrophic day in the market. So if you say, hey, I don't trade $200, I trade 1,000. All you need to do is come down here and you just type in $1,000 and you click analyze and it redoes all of this analysis, but it factors in a $1,000 risk total right here instead of $200, which the system defaults to. Option one is if you want to trade a single contract. Option two is if you want to trade multiple contracts like three, for example. And then option three is just simply chart structure. If you don't do a risk to reward system and you just want to know what does the chart tell me from what Quant Crawler can see off of the 15, five and one minute, what does the chart look like? I want to play that on a scalp. Once you've reviewed your three options and you decide which one you would like to do or at least want to entertain looking at, you can then scroll down a little bit further and you can see it gives you the key levels from the five minute chart it's taking the middle chart in every scenario that you run, and it's saying the support level that it sees is 46.05 and the resistance is 46.45. Now, this is just going off of the data it can see from these chart screenshots. So if you say, hey, Aaron, the support and resistance levels actually look like this off the one hour chart. Sure, they probably do. This is analyzing the five minute chart. And it's only going off of the size of this screenshot right here. It's not back testing the past off of a larger time frame because it can't see it. So based on the analysis that you give it and the screenshots that you give it, this is what it breaks out. So you would then come over here, you take a look at this and say, hey, on the 15 minute, I see what it's doing here. It is in an uptrend. Let's check the five minute. We have this, we of course have a pullback after a big run like that and we're steady climbing. We're bullish again as well. And then the one minute, again, this is that part, big rise, have a pullback, of course, and now we're in this again. We're probably going to have a pullback, and then we're going to run up. This is a trade that I would take. So now that I've shown you futures, you can completely get rid of TradingView because you don't need it. On Forex, for example, you come in here, and Forex has data integration, so you don't need to do any screenshots. You can, but right here it says enter ticker. All you need to do is enter in the ticker that you want it to do, and it will go out and pull candles for the 15 minute, five minute, and one minute, or whatever time frame you pick here. So on your largest time frame, it's pulling 100 candles. On your middle time frame, it's pulling 150 candles. And on your smallest, it's actually pulling 250 candles. And then it's analyzing all of that data and breaking it down, sending it to our framework, and our framework is running its output of how it is set up to operate. If you want to do screenshots just like you do on futures, all you have to do is click upload screenshots and then paste them in here and it's the exact same process we just walked through. But for Forex, you go enter ticker and most of our users have their best luck on XAU and all you do is click analyze. Since it's pulling so much data, this takes 20 to 30 seconds and then it gives you your output. You can see here, we get a very similar thing to gold that we just ran, except we get XAU USD. We get the price right here, 75% confidence on a long, and then it gives you the exact same thing that the other one did. So Forex is essentially the same way, except with this enter ticker function, all you have to do is enter in your pair right here and it goes to work for you. And again, you can upload screenshots if that's something you're interested in doing instead of having this automatically do it for you. Let's hop down to crypto and take a look at that one. It works the exact same as Forex. You have an enter ticker feature. You also have an upload screenshot option. So down here, you would just need to type in BTC if you want to see Bitcoin and let it go to work. So right here, the output on crypto does look a little bit different because it just simply trades different. So Bitcoin price is here. Limit order. Wait for a pullback. Time frame confluence. Three out of three are in alignment. Set your stop loss here. Set your take profits here. And then right here, the provided trend on the 15 minute is unclear, but recent price action over the last six to seven candles clearly shows a strong bullish impulse. So it gives you your reason, it gives you your breakdown, and 
It's suggesting a long on Bitcoin right now. The last one is options. This is new to us as of about 30 days ago. Options works the same way. If you want to come in here and you're looking to put either calls or puts in place, you can enter in the ticker or upload screenshots, exact same as the other three analyzers. Down here at the bottom, you can do if you're doing a zero DTE, zero days to expiration. If you're literally trading a call or put with an expiration of today, this will run a quick scalp contract analyzer. You can do an intraday if you're going to hold a little bit longer or a swing trade if you're going to hold seven plus days. So let's go zero DTE and put in QQQ and look at what it comes up with. So right here, it's picking up on QQQ. The market structure, it's ranging. The key resistance and the key support levels, it's telling you to do a call. It's bullish, 75% confident. This is the entry zone it likes. And if you're looking for a zero DTE contract, it kind of likes the delta range at 0.45 to 0.5. The pricing on this varies, so it doesn't quote price of this contract should cost X amount of dollars because it varies by broker, and there's no way for me to pull that on an automated system like this that works as quick with every other broker and pulling what their cost is for these. So use your broker's options chain to find a strike matching the delta range above. QQQ is currently consolidating around 627.04. Now, I actually trade options. I do this. I trade futures and options. This is what I do. I use this regularly, I use this daily, and I will start posting results of this because when you guys see me post videos, I mainly only talk about futures, but I trade options, I've traded options for years, and Quant Crawler has maybe had, I believe, one losing day on a call for me in the last probably four weeks since I've been testing it. The 0 0.45, 0 0.5 delta is chosen for moderate confidence and a quick breakout move adjusted slightly higher due to the price being at a critical decision point. It gives you your risk notes and it completely automated all of this for you. Again, you can enter in the ticker or upload screenshots. The only other thing I did not show you guys here, and I won't get too far into it, but in any of these analyzers at the bottom, you can see it has took this trade or did not take. If you click this, it automatically pulls you into our trade journal where you can start entering things in right here tracking your trades and then under your performance tab you can actually start seeing how are you doing it this is a full trade journal you can see your calendar you can see your analytics you can build out your own playbook and strategy in here and you can see your history of trades that you took the last piece i want to show you guys if you trade a certain thing you can see up here at the top the top ran tickers today is xau usd forex is our most popular we then have gc and mnq right here just this morning, the market's only been open for two hours and 24 minutes. We've had over 360 analysis ran in two and a half hours. Just on these three tickers alone, there are significantly more tickers running on the back end. And we do have people on here using the platform. We average on Quant Crawler about 1,500 analysis an hour every single hour that the market is open. And over the weekend, we average 200 to 400 analysis per hour with crypto. So people are using this. People are liking it. We've been operational since November. We would not still be operating at this level and this tier of performance if we were not getting results out of the analysis data. We wouldn't have 1,500 plus analysis an hour if Quant Crawler was not performing. If you guys are still with me watching this video, the only other thing I want to tell you is over here, there's a tool section, a guide section, and a learn section. This learn section is completely free information that I spent over $10,000 when I was learning day trading and trying to get better at it that I've consolidated for free. You get it all free for 30 days and Quant Crawler as a whole is just $9.99 a month. I hope you guys will check it out. I hope you'll join me. And if you have any questions, hop in our Discord. It's one of the links down below in the description. I'm in there all day long. You can reach me directly. I'm happy to answer any questions.